Hello everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me for my Try It Out Tuesday series. Now today's extra special Try It Out Tuesday because the wonderful people at Stampendous contacted me and asked me if I'd like to play with some of their brand new products, which I was more than willing. I love Stampendous. And so this is what they had sent me and I get to share it with you today. So this is the Floral Typewriter stamp set love this. I love the real pretty flowers and then I also like that you can customize the paper that's coming out of the typewriter. There's thank you, there's um, get well soon, so that's going to be fun to play with. Next they sent me this stamp set which is adorable. It's called Garden Boots. Love the little kitty in there. But the flower pots and the pails, you can all add flowers, tulips, um, foliage so you can build a nice little scene with the stamp set. Love that. That one's again called the Garden Boots. And then this is here is a cling stamp. It's called Cone Flower. Beautiful sentiment in here. I just am looking forward to playing with this one. Now these have um, gorgeous flowers on the back side too. It's nice because it, um, they show some multimedia that you can use with this stamp set. And so looking forward to making a card with this. And I did get the coordinating dies. And so this is everything Stampendous sent me. Thank you so much, Stampendous. I'm so looking forward to playing with all of these products. I really appreciate it so much. So guys, today we're going to make a card using the floral typewriter. And so we're just going to jump in. But I do want to let you know that each of the products today that Stampendous had sent me, I'll be making cards with. So keep a lookout for my videos on those other stamp sets and I'll leave links below to where you guys can find these stamp sets. They're available now. Um, like I said, it's part of their new release, but it's they're available in most of your favorite craft stores. And so um, let's just jump in and make a card. So I'm taking a piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock and I'm placing it in my Mini Misty and I'm going to play, place the typewriter in there. And then I wanted to choose a sentiment. So today's card, I thought, I don't have very many kind of feel better cards. So this one here, I used the sentiment that says to cheer you. And then I'm going to grab the little floral cluster also. And I'm going to place that on my white card stock here. Now, originally I was going to use my Copics to color in these images. And so... As I got ready to um, add my ink, I thought, no, I'm going to watercolor today. I haven't watercolored in a long time, and I, even though I'm not very good at it, I so enjoy it, and I love the, the look that it gives. And so whenever I do watercolor, I like to use um, my clear embossing powder. So I'm adding some VersaFine ink, and I got ready to stamp it, and I decided to take the flower off. Um, I'm going to use this as my panel since I'm watercoloring and I am going to be using the rough side of the watercolor paper. This is the Tim Holtz, um, the Ranger watercolor cardstock. I'm inking up my image with my VersaFine ink and I had to stamp it a few times. The keys on the, the image were um, on the solid side. But once we have that nice and crisp, I'm going to add some Nouveau Simply um, Crystal Clear embossing powder. What I'm, I'm going to actually do two of the same. So I'm going to grab another piece of watercolor cardstock and heat emboss those as well. Okay. To color in these images, I decided to use this Daniel Smith Dot um, watercolor palette. These are so nice, guys, because they're only like $3 and they give you a sampling of all the... Um, well, there's different um, sets that you could purchase. And this one actually has happens to be Yana Smacula's palette beautiful colors in here, but I thought it'd go great with the typewriter and also with the little flowers in there. Now the nice thing about the embossing is whenever you color with watercolor, um, the embossing will contain so, um, so it won't blend into the other colors. And I need that when I watercolor because I'm not that great at it, but I sure do like doing it. But I'm just going to color in both of these images. I'm going to play some music. And when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back.
both of my panels are done. Now you're probably thinking, well, why did you do two? But um, I'm actually going to use the flowers and the the typewriter paper on one of them. So I didn't really need to color in the typewriter, but I did that. Um, that's nice too because you can choose which one you like better. So, but I'm just going to fussy cut out the flowers and then also the typewriter page. And then um, I did use my black marker to go around the images because I did go along the black edge. I'm taking a stitched rectangle die that's about a half inch smaller than my card base. And so I'm going to cut out my panel with the typewriter that I liked. <laughs> and then once we have that done, we're going to build our little layers. I'm going to start off by taking my craft knife and where the paper comes out of the typewriter, I'm going to um, cut out a hole there. Once we have that done, I'm going to flip this panel over, add some tape behind it. Oh no, I'm going to curl up my page. I think that gives a really nice effect. Kind of goes with the theme of the paper, kind of kind of swirly. <laughs> but I add tape behind it. I'm going to tuck in my typewriter page and then that way it sticks to the back. And then I'm going to add a foam square right behind it to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I'm going to add some foam squares behind my little flowers. And then those are going to go right on top of the flowers that are on that panel. And this um, gives, for me, I like the layer look. So it, it really gives a nice effect. So we're going to flip this over, add some foam tape behind it. And I'm going to add my panel to my card base. My card base is a standard A2 size card base. It is actually a real pale baby blue. And I think that goes really good with the typewriter. But for bells and whistles, I'm going to take some Nouveau. Um, simply white embossing, or it's not simply white, sorry. <laughs> it's it's um, simply white crystal drops, sorry. And then I am going to dot the center of the flowers. And that is my card for today. Keep a lookout, guys, for future videos because I'll be making, like I said earlier, some more cards using these wonderful products. Thank you so much for stopping by, and thank you, Stan Pendis, for sending me these products. I so appreciate it and I am in love with them. <laughs> Have a great day, guys, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.